This is our 125cc budget drift car. It started life as a kid's quad bike and we've turned this thing into an absolute monster. It's got a manual four speed motor with a clutch and it actually works really well. The problem is it actually works a little bit too well. So when you're riding this thing, you really have to watch yourself because it does wheelies, like literally throws you off the car. <laughs> My good friend Bailey is here and he knows firsthand how insane this thing is. I've ridden this thing once <laughs> and it tried to throw me off the back of it. So due to popular demand in the comment section, today we are going to install wheelie bars on this thing. How hard could it be? <laughs> I've never installed wheelie bars on anything before, so I have absolutely no idea. We also have really no plan for this. But what we do have is this skateboard right here sitting on the wall. So we're going to steal some wheels off this thing. We're going to make some wheelie bars, put them on the back and see if we can't do some crazy wheelies on this thing. So as you can see in the back here, there's some blast pipes in our way, but we have a kind of a fair idea for how we want to do things. Bailey's more of a fabricator than I am. Yeah, it's actually kind of funny that these have sort of acted as a wheelie bar. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Not quite. So we're going to try and fix it somewhere off here. You probably want two, but like, once again, how hard could it be? All right, so first things first, let's take the wheels off this and see exactly how we're going to make them work as a wheelie bar. So we removed the trucks from the skateboard and set the car at the angle we thought would be best for some rad wheelies. Then we removed the seat to give us better access so we could start making our wheelie bars. So we have the seat off the car and we have the height at the front set pretty well where we want it in terms of how much of a wheelie we want to be doing. We did have it a little bit higher but uh, a bit sketchy. The problem is if you have it too high you can't forget this thing pushes you forwards quite fast and rapidly <laughs> so not only does it want to tilt up but it's going to push you off the back of the card itself. So yeah. You're gonna limit your uh, angle of attack a little bit. And he's wearing his PPE today, so. <laughs> So we're being a little bit reserved, which I'm kind of happy about, but it's still pretty like, that's quite a significant wheelie. But in true budget drift cart fashion, we are using old scrap that we had lying around the shop. So we have this old sway bar. What's this even from? I don't know. It's got blue overspray on it, which makes me think like Datsun, but I don't know why, because the Datsun has a sway bar in it, so. Very conveniently bent already, most conveniently, already has a hole in it. It's so right. good. <laughs> it's gonna work perfect for us, I think. So we chuck this boy here. Okay, that's a problem already. It's in the tips. <laughs> we are hitting the tips. We'll have to figure that one out. I think you could angle it in more, yeah. Look at that. And bolt that up to there so that we're not ruining the truck so I can still put them back on my skateboard. One from each side, symmetrical, beautiful. Thank Let's you. get cutting. Oh, this is so good. I'm freaking pumped, dude. Hopefully it doesn't break immediately. <laughs> So shout out to our random sway bar because this is actually gonna look so profesh. Look at that, nice symmetrical shape, something like that. So we're just gonna weld, boom, along here and we'll also weld to the seat back here for some extra bracing. And then this guy, literally just gonna bolt up. Way simpler than I thought it would be, which is sweet. By the way, I know a bunch of you guys are wondering, how are we gonna turbo it? Yes. We are, the turbo stuff's on its way, but we've been super busy on the channel. Of course, we're building the Barn Find R32 Skyline, but even that has been put on hold this week because I'm finishing off the E36 competition car. It doesn't look like much at the moment, but I've been putting in a buttload of effort behind the scenes in this thing. That video should hopefully drop later this week, and then there'll be another Skyline video coming, and of course, the turbo drift cart video will follow at some point, so there's a massive amount of content coming, but back to our drift cart. So, sway bars are almost, well, they're ready to be welded <laughs> I cannot wait dude, it's gonna be awesome. I'm freaking definitely scared. <laughs> And just like that, our wheelie bars are finished. And that was actually way easier than expected, which I'm kind of thankful for because it's like 35 degrees in the shop here today. We're sweating. Your muscles are looking big though, son. Let's go. Let Jesus Christ, bro. So the wheelie bars are done. We don't quite know, like we don't really think it through a lot. It looks pretty cool, but we've realized maybe they're slightly too short. Who's going first is the question. One, two, three. 
That means you go first. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> so we are ready for the first try of our wheelie bars. I'm kind of nervous for Bailey, I'm not gonna lie. I think we need to go higher with the wheelie bar. Flip it around? Yeah, we'll flip it around because I want to do bigger wheelies. That's so fun. So we have raised the wheelie bars. Bailey has given up on the idea of driving the cart after his <laughs> near death experience. So I'm going to jump on and give this a red hot crack. This thing is just sketchy from the get go. So yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> we're about to call it a day, but we're not giving up and we're going to grind away some of the meat Hopefully so that we can get the wheels touching the ground and not the metal so that I don't die I did it again. Weirdly enough, I haven't hurt myself at all doing it yet. Well, that was somewhat of a success. I definitely sacrificed my body for this video, but we actually figured out the reason that I kept falling off the cart, essentially. Do you want to explain to us, Bailey? One of the many reasons. <laughs> yes, there are more than one. This doesn't exactly stay straight. Just because it's bolted in the middle, it acts as a pivot point. So yeah. if you <laughs> apply enough weight to it, this can shift and move. As so. you can see by the fact that it has moved right now and that's why I fell off. So essentially that acts as a rudder. Yeah, it'll steer you. Yes. Kind of randomly. Yeah, it didn't work too well. It does have a lock stop very yeah. handily. <laughs> yeah, otherwise it would have gone even more south. So the improvement that we will do at some point on this is straighten this up and then have a plate in here so that that sits in like the plate. So it's like always centered, you can't, it can't move basically. I did get one wheelie and that was really good. That was pretty well controlled and I think that's before this back rudder thing moved. It's actually pretty controlled when it's right but when it's wrong it's so bad definitely a lot of fun sketchy as hell but thank you to everyone who suggested we put wheelie bars on this thing of course next we do need to change the aspiration of this to turbo charged at some point but for now that is a wrap on this video I'm going to edit this in my editing studio so that I can have this out for you guys tonight we've got so many things going on, on the channel like I said I cannot wait to release more videos but for now I'm going straight back into finishing the 2024 Autobahn E36 thank you guys so much for watching hit us in the comments you're always welcome to give us feedback and suggestions for how we can make this wheelie bar setup better or the go-kart in general thank you guys i'll see you in the next video you poos thanks bailey what well, up oh, there you are thank you adios bye